name's Justin Crawford. I'm here at Red Tree Gallery in Jindavik. I've just hung my exhibition titled The Wild. Uh, I'm a surrealist painter from the local area. I live in Druin. I have been painting, I painted this exhibition between 2007 and 2012. I've had a bit of a layoff. I haven't painted so much in the last couple of years, but this is a body of work I've put hundreds and hundreds of hours into. The content is mostly my family, my two sons and my wife, and it's fairly rich in Aboriginal totems and themes. They are Aboriginals and some of it is quite challenging. It's meant to be. This piece is entitled The Rise of Atlas and it is about my oldest boy Atlas. When I painted this he was two years old, but my wife was pregnant with our second son and as I started painting, it was a change in my painting. I was starting to paint a little bit more intricately and spending a lot more time on the figure. But the thing of it was that even as a two-year-old, he already had this responsibility. He was going to be a big brother, and while you're a little kid, like it starts really early, you have responsibilities, and your life starts early in that way. And I just wanted to sort of capture that. So that's the rise of Atlas. In 2009, I went to see the Salvador Dali exhibition that was in Melbourne at the National Gallery. Uh, there were several of these pieces there, there were some bigger pieces, but there was two small ones in particular and they were behind glass and I was taken by those. I, spent, I spent an hour looking at these two pieces. I was probably hogging them in the end, I was like peering at the glass and taking up all the room, but I was painted on board, like not on canvas. When you paint on panel, you can just get so much more detail on these tiny figures with a really fine point of the brush. So. But this particular piece is called God Taking the Beach and what it is, it's the the blue red, which is the local Kurnoi totem for the male, that's for the male, it's not the female, that's the males. And it's the, a male figure holding it down and stabbing, stabbing him in the heart. It's literally to do with the pioneering and the settlement of Australia and coming and taking away these rich traditions that have been here for thousands and thousands of years. And they were just gone, like overnight, some of it, just to make way for this new world that got brought in. And, there needs to be conversations around it. There still hasn't been. And this is my little way of at least saying, you know, it wasn't right and it isn't right. And this little piece is called Colonel of Woman. It was actually a painting of my wife that I did probably about four years ago now. And it's just literally a painting of her. It's trying to capture her beauty, but at the same time, her vulnerability being a woman, but also her intelligence, everything. But it's meant to be like looking out from the darkness and it sort of marked almost a little bit of a break off from this series of work. This is the last piece in the series and it marked a bit of a break off where I almost got to put a bit of a bow on it. Like there's so much surrealism through the entire exhibition. But then you get down to this simplicity. And at the time I was studying a lot the work of Caravaggio, the painter who lived in about 1600 in Italy and how much he just focused on the detail of the figure. And it really got me just focused on just little things and taking and some of it I painted and then I'd just paint over it and over it. I was painted in not much more than a day, but literally the intricacies of that face were just, just moving the paint around, moving the paint around to you're happy with a single brush stroke. And I think in the future that's probably where I'll end up moving more and more towards. But I hope you can get along and enjoy the exhibition. And I've got them around in a way, so you just keep walking through and hope you enjoy it.